what up guys it's Seishiso here and today I'm gonna show you how I use the rune optimizer um, I've been playing with Summoner's War for like 10 months right now pretty much helping people for quite so much and I got a lot of asked uh, uh, the question about how to use the rune optimizer so today I'm just gonna show you like a quick overview how I use the rune optimizer it's not gonna be like a one hour video I hope it's not you can check now um, you did check right you did check you did check okay doesn't matter to enough bullshit let's get into like the rune optimize i'm just gonna like quickly show how i use it and uh, i don't say how you should use it but how it's useful most important thing is focus focus on these monsters just write down what you want to do at every rune removal every rune removal from month to month you should have like okay i want to work on this i want to grind this work on that whatever so um, for now, I wrote down these three. The actual list is gonna be way longer than this, but this is just like something to work on. So I will have, want to have Rina on Will. I don't care what the other sets said. Copper, I don't care if less. And Gianna, yes, she cares. And these are the other stats. So let's get into this. Okay, monsters, Rina. I already have a prefix for this. So uh, a preset for this. So I'm just gonna say. This is okay. I don't want to have this defense percent. Well, let's say, in case you don't know how to set the presets, um, let's make a preset for Spectra. He doesn't have one. If I would run Spectra, I would say either Swift or Violent. Violent or Swift. Uh, focus. Let's say something. It's gonna be speed. HP Eki. Don't know why you would want this, but uh, there's some options. HP and Eki. Want to have at least 100 Eki, 200 speed. These are just examples. So, bam. If you would now go to Spectra, it would say all these things that I just inserted. Go for all your monsters. Do this. It's so super useful. Really, it's. It's gonna save a lot of time. And also when you change something, well right now it's just like a small change, I want this on defense. Just change these things, it's super useful. This could be 80, I'm kinda okay with 80. Should be 100, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Well let's say it's, how much is it right now? It's 83, I would like to have 100. Let's see how far I can push this with 100. So I could say like, it optimizes this, it calculated all my runes, it don't have any locked runes, so it's looking over all my runes and it's gonna say this set. It's gonna increase my mm, HP by a little bit, decrease my defense by quite a lot. Speed is gonna be less, don't really care about speed that much, at least not for Rina. But what I also could look at is effective HP. Super useful. Um, this is calculating like the HP with the defense. So, and then you also have this one. This means like effective HP if your defense broken. Well, let's say I would check this. This is actually, it is less. Uh, yeah, of course it's less because I'm putting more into resistance right now. Well, let's say I would want this. I click on it. I see a couple of runes that I do not want to use on him. For example, Brienne's rune and Economia's rune. Then I exclude these two. These are standing in here. When you do that, I optimize again. And I just like redo this process like a couple of times. Um, why I do this and not just simply lock these runes is because I would like to go over all the runes. Uh, pretty much instead of just like the runes that I'm currently not using or using on monsters I don't use that much. Because for example, Darian right here is a monster I use, but this rune on him, I don't really care on him. So, this is why I don't exclude this one. Megan, <laughs> excluding. I want to keep her on. I, I don't want to touch her that much. That sounds wrong. That sounds wrong. I don't want to touch Megan that much. <laughs> yep, definitely sounds wrong. Well, okay, this is good. Maybe not the thing I'm actually gonna use on Friday, but let's say I, I would want something like this. Okay, what could I do? I remove the other two. I could say equip, but if you do that, all of these runes will be located at Rena. 
So if you have to look up when you're actually doing this on uh, Saturday, you're gonna look up like, okay, where's this rune? Okay, that's this, but location arena, it's not on arena yet, can't find it. Problems. That's why you just take a screenshot. That's it. You can keep it in here, but as soon as you import like new data, it removes all these things. So take your screenshots, it's useful. Okay, then that, that is pretty much for Arena. That's Arena. It's like bam, bam, done, done. No care, no care. You can also just delete it, whatever you like. But do this. Keep focus of what you want to do. That's so important for like the the, the progress in this game. So the next one, copper, copper. Okay, okay. This is all good. I want it on will. The others two, I don't really care. Death, crit rate, crit damage. What you could do is like. For example, if I do this, no focus, it's going to calculate like everything. And this is going to take hours. I'm telling you, it's calculating so much. If you have like five, 600 runes, it's going to calculate so many things. If I only put in death, it's like 5,000 right away. So, but the thing is now it's calculating, it's going to check if every rune uh, on every slot has like at least some death. So that's leaving out some runes that are like high on the other stats so you sometimes have to play around with that a, a bit you could say for example like if i put crit rate 70 percent in it i don't have to focus on crit rate because it's already there but it's not always giving the best results so we play a bit around with that um it's okay for copper it's all about damage what's well, copper's not gonna do 2000 damage that's fucking bullshit that's bullshit so then you have to put in like instead of like using the standard formula, you have to use the special formula for special monsters. Well, yeah, Copper's mom also probably said she was special. But what do you get here? You can say like the damage it does, and with all the, with pretty much everything that's involved in that. So I'm clicking on get multipliers, I'm getting this. And I'm looking up the multipliers of Thunder Psych. That's Copper is all about. 300 attack, 300. That's actually quite a lot in attack. Didn't expect that. And it's 30% on that. Okay, let's put it in. 300. Uh, 300. And uh, 30, for example, 30. It's going to ignore defense. I'm going to use my guild bars. You're going to be having this. You're going to be having a leader that's helping you 30, 40%. Apply, boom, do some damage. Do some damage. Copper, how much damage you're gonna do? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I expected higher. Like, expected more from you. See, I focus crit rate now, and you see it's being more. So, yeah, then you check around, and then again, you're seeing like you're not allowed to use this room. You're not allowed to use this room. Again. Thank you, come again. We're checking again. Fertile. Like, this is also like an option. Like, I'm using Fertile. But this rune is like, it, it pretty much, it, it should say like violent rune copper. Pre it, it could say that, pretty much. But still, do you want to touch it? And this is also why I want to see like, is this something I want to change, yes or no? So in this case, no, this is a rune I use on arena. This is actually a rune that's not in the newest arena build because it's using this new rune. So, okay, you can keep that. And what we get? See that the damage is dropping some, but let's say Tyron, ah, whatever you... This is good. This is good, okay. I'm gonna use this screenshot. Bam, made it. Damn, done, done, done. Gianna. And this is like, I'm just showing like a couple of monsters. Uh, I'm not gonna do every monster. So people that don't know Gianna, she's the Dark Oracle. Yes, I have the Dark Oracle. She's super good, blah, blah, blah. I'm so happy that I got her. Um, yeah, let's ruin her. She's actually super difficult to ruin because she can use like pretty much every stat in the in the game except for crit damage. She was good, but not that useful. Had her on Will Violent before, had her on Will Nemesis focus. I'm gonna do will nemesis uh, will revenge focus right now with crit rate. Just gonna try it out. It sounds fun. Um, this not focusing on the tech that much anymore. These two are fine. Mm, optimize. Let's see what you got. So I don't care about your damage. 
and let's say HP. Nah, at least 200 speed, man. Else you're slow as shit. I don't like sure slow as shit monsters. Um, the HP is dropping quite hard though. HP is dropping quite hard. Well, for here I see some runes that I want to use, but this rune I'm not liking you. And I actually know my 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 uh, Corleen has this rune, which is more defensive stats, which I want to use. So I remembered it. ID, put it in here, use this rune, yes, you can right away see like, ooh, the HP is increasing. Click on that, uh, it's nah, nah, not really there yet, maybe if I remove the crit rate. <laughs> just checking around a bit. See, and for this you can just like, look around, this is not actually I want to use the, the rune. I know by heart that I also want to use is this one. Yep, this rune I want to use. So let's see, the HP is dropping quite low. Let's say if I give in some accuracy, yep, that's gonna give me some more of that. And let's say I give him 25,000 HP then. And then the crit rate would be, and that's a bit low, let's say. And th this is like the way I just play around with my monsters and th with like the, the filters and stuff like how high can I get um, by doing this. Let's say this one is actually it's pretty decent. What you can also look at right here is like uh, how much uh, yellow orange is the UC and how much is like room for improvement like I could add some more speed here more speed here more speed there more speed there and it's still one speed so in fact with these runes if I would take 195 and I grindstone them I would still be able to like get better results and also you see right here I had the filter of 200 this one is uh, without that but if I switch it to 190 actually one that pops up has like a lot more accuracy nice crit rate uh, the same hp as that so this is always something you have to check out don't be like so stubborn like i have to have 200 speed well maybe for speed tuning stuff you do but if there's monsters that you don't have to do it that much or you can just like take the 199 and get a grindstone or something keep, keep these things in mind so play around with it yes it takes a lot of time but it's super worth it okay something the, the final thing i'm gonna show you let's say for example this is what I want, but except for this rune. I don't care about this crit rate, don't care about this HP, I want more speed. This rune is good, all the other or th all the other runes are good, this rune is shitty, more speed, more speed. Okay, let's do this, more speed. Sounding like... Uh, yep, 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 okay, that's how do we get... I'm going to the runes, and it was a revenge rune, it was a slot 3, right? Yep. And I would say high speed in the inventory right now. Okay. Then I just like remember this room where it is. Maybe also take a screenshot, take a note with it by that. I could also say, yeah, I think you can say somewhere like equip this to some monster. Can you? You cannot. You cannot. I could say include. That's what I can do. And then optimize again. And then you get no results because I killed this. And now I still don't get results because it's too low HP. And then I get results. And then my high speed is 211. And then it's pretty much the same runes as you saw before with this rune. So th th these are like the things I use for the rune optimizer. So there's more th uh, to it than just what I've shown. But this is how I use it. I think this is like super useful program. It takes a lot of time. But use it i got some people some, some friends of mine that uh i explained this how i used it they used it for themselves and they actually got from like um fighter 3 into c2 within like pretty much two weeks um and without actually getting more runes or getting some new monsters just like uh better rune optimizing and this is really a key thing to do and you cannot do this all by like pen and paper or not at all if you want to but it's useful so thank you for um watching this video 
this is like my uh, first video uh, within like my um, series of videos. I'm going to do some more videos on like uh, my accounts, maybe some summonings, Guild Wars, Arena, stuff like that. I'm pretty much going to be like the new YouTuber for uh, Summoners War. Got a lot of time in the summer vacations and I like Summoners War. I like to make some videos and stuff like that. So I'm going to combine that. Um, so yeah, if you like it, uh, leave a comment, leave, leave a like. Um, and I hope to see you at the next video.